and uh, my dad has some totally unprepared, impromptu remarks, uh, but I know it's going to be wonderful, like his normal impromptu remarks. So uh, it's going to be a surprise for me too. Thank you all for coming out today. You know, life is so important to be taken seriously. So he always told me to start out a speech with a joke. And what, a <laughs> what a surprise! What a surprise! This guy is walking along the beach and he sees a bottle. And he opens up the bottle and there's a genie jumps out. And the genie says, I'm going to give you one get one uh, uh, wish. Huh? Wish. One wish. Not three wishes, one wish. So the guy says, Okay, I live in California. I want to go to Hawaii. But I, I hate to, I, I'm afraid of flying. I can't fly there. And the ships sometimes so, sink, I can't take a ship. So, so I, I want you to build me a bridge. And Gene says, you're out of your cotton foot of mine. You build a bridge to Hawaii, it's 2,000 miles. And you can't put the supports down in the ocean. So Gene says, can you give me, uh, ask for another wish? And the guy says, yeah, I want to understand women. I don't understand women. I call my mother, she won't talk to me. I call my daughter, she hangs up the phone. I call my sister, she won't talk to me either. I want to understand women. So the genie says, that bird you wanted, one lane or two? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to introduce my family. The scare runner, my old son Ken, my lane, my wife, who is 67 years. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter Linda back there, and my youngest son Rick, and my second son Don, and uh, where's Boris? Uh, where's Boris? Esther. I'm right here. Where? I'm right here. Oh, that's what? I introduced Esther as my granddaughter for my first marriage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, back there is Carolyn, my my brother's uh, daughter, and her husband, somewhere on her. Here. Uh, <laughs> Steve, and my son-in-law, David. And uh, who did I miss? Anybody? Oh, and, uh, Maria, my uh, daughter-in-law, and uh, their, their uh, daughter, uh, Aisling. I guess that's it. I know Eileen has a few comments to make. I'm going to turn it over to her. I'm not as funny as he is. I pay my taxes, do what's right, work during the day, and sleep at night. I eat my veggies and lots of fruit. And in the exercise pool, I done a demure suit. My meds are consumed at the proper time, and with junk food, I walk a tight, tight line. My weight I control, tis best for my spinal stenosis, and I follow my doc's advice for my osteoporosis. My house I keep clean, but not too much. Dust you'll find at a finger's touch. I feed my hubby, albeit without enthusiasm, but he eats it all, no criticism. The bird gets fed, the dog gets brushed. My numerous pains I try to keep hushed. Our clothes are laundered, the patio swept, newspapers recycled, important papers kept. Bills get paid, I shop for each necessity, or most diligently to avoid obesity. I drive my car with care and aplomb and answer emails whenever letters come. I look upon each faith and race both with equal respect and equal grace. One thing sets me apart from the world around, and that is the atheistic beliefs that within me abound. I won't proselytize. I respect how you see it. Please accept my thinking and shrug. So be it. 
I strained to play golf, my life's addiction, and approached my woodworking with confident conviction. I adore my tutoring. It fills my heart with joy. We're doing well. I won't be coy. Bridge I love, although I miss my friends down deceased. My affection for that game has steadily increased. But not my wardrobe, I need no more. I pants, skirts, shirts, shorts, sweaters, shoes, pennies, gloves, galore! My contacts are a boon, I'll readily admit it. And my walker's there when I feel I need it. The things I smoke are a rotten habit. What did I could do without, but my need is rabid. The patio's clean, the plants I water. I try not to complain to my darling daughter. My sons are all fine, they're all grown up. I view each with an overflowing cup. Why then is my life so completely shitty when I'm fortunate to live in such a lovely city? I'll tell you why if you've not been told. I'm old. <laughs>